Thank you. We're very honored that uh, uh, you graced us with your presence. We were wondering if it was going to be Fred and I and a few of our friends uh, coming to Addis. Uh, we're really honored to see so many of you who've accepted our invitation to come and talk about how we can create prosperity for Africa. Tonight, this is exactly what we wanted to see, and this is what this, in the spirit of ALN, the networking, the sharing of ideas, uh, this is exactly what ALN is about. So we'd encourage you all to have fun, to network, to connect, uh, to meet new people. Um, I'm sure there are a number of people in the two days really think about what are we going to do as the, as the next generation of African leaders to make a difference and create prosperity in Africa. Being here tonight is exactly what we envision. So um, very excited and uh, looking forward to enjoying and spending the next few days with, with all of you. Unaware of her septic blood by age 12. 
unaware that the diamond on my finger shed her baby brother's ambitious blood. A boy seeking the freedom of choice. Trapped in solitary confinement. Lost amidst the haunting voices of pimping desperate screams that massacre all beneath the light of sacred and dreams exist. Africa cups her hands. And in them I see lines tracing back to the soil we all come from. There is no difference between me and Africa. Whose wisdom leads water buckets, I don't have the strength to carry. Like me, she breathes. Like me, she lives. Like me, she prays with every last inch of her precious heart that all the pain and grievance of the world will end. In her, I In her, I see me. In her, I feel the richness of home and the familiarity of my people that show she stands with strength and resilience, inspired to rise in the face of adversity. Africa stands with no guarantees but a faith that change is possible. I once had a dream of a wealthy Africa, an Africa that her own people can bank on, an Africa holding the foresight that we will feed our full breasts that nourish starving infants who sob for a place of peace. But I obey to the truth that I sit on my couch tracking CNN. We got.